Perseverance rover has been diligently working away on Mars, studying the red planet since February of 2021. It's also been preserving samples of the Martian soil in hopes of sending them back to Earth. These samples are stored in titanium tubes about the size of a cigar. There's currently about 30 of them dotting the Jezero crater where Perseverance is currently operating. How they plan to return the samples to Earth has been a topic of much debate, but today NASA provided an update. Option 1. The Sky Crane NASA has already successfully utilized the Sky Crane design to land the Perseverance rover in 2021, so this option would expand upon that. Like the rover, the Sky Crane would lower an ascent vehicle down to the surface. The samples would then be collected and returned to the ascent vehicle to be rocketed into Martian orbit, where it would rendezvous with an ESA rocket for the return journey. This is projected to cost about $6.6 to $7.7 billion. Option 2. Hitch a Ride In this option, NASA's sample collection equipment would hitch a ride to the Red Planet via commercially available rockets like SpaceX's Starship or Blue Origin's New Glenn. Neither are ready to carry a commercial payload yet, but development is well underway. The rocket would presumably land on the surface of Mars and then carry samples back to Earth. This is projected to cost about $5.8 to $7.1 billion. Both options would include a nuclear radioisotope thermal generator to provide power instead of solar panels, which can be susceptible to dust buildup. NASA plans to make the final decision by 2026, with the samples not projected to return to Earth until 2035 at the earliest.